Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to find the value of this rational expression x power 5 plus 8 divided by x plus 1 if x square plus x equals to 1. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. So before we proceed, let's go ahead and talk about a couple of options. And here's our very first option, solve for x first and then find the value of this rational expression. And here's our second option, look for an easier alternative approach to avoid solving for x first. So I have decided to take this second option and we're going to think outside the box. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this equation. I'm going to call this equation as number one. Now let's focus on this equation. And here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and move this x on the right hand side. So this equation is simply is going to become x square equal to 1 minus x. Let me go ahead and call this equation as number 2. And now let's go ahead and take the square on both sides of this equation 2. So let's go ahead and take the square on both sides of this equation 2. And now let's focus on this left hand side of this equation x power 2 and then power 2. We are going to use this power rule of exponents. So this could be written as x power 2 times 2 is x power 4 equals 2. And on the right hand side, we are going to expand this binomial by using this famous identity a minus b square. So the right hand side could be written as 1 minus 2x plus x square. And now let's focus on this x square term. I am going to replace this one by this 1 minus x in equation 2. So therefore, our this equation is going to become x power 4 equal to 1 minus 2x and then plus, I'm going to replace this one by 1 minus x. So let's go ahead and simplify furthermore. So x power 4 equal to, let's combine the like terms on the right hand side. So that's going to give us 2 minus 3 x. Let me go ahead and call this as equation number 3. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and multiply x on both sides of this equation. So let's go ahead and do that one. So we're going to have x power 4 and then times x equals to x times 2 minus 3 x. Now on the left hand side that is going to give us x power 5 equal to, let's go ahead and distribute these. So we are going to get 2x minus 3x square. And now we can see on the right hand side this x square. I am going to replace this by 1 minus x as in equation 2. So therefore our equation is going to become x power 5 equals to 2x minus 3 times. I'm going to replace it by 1 minus x. So we are going to have x power 5 equals to 2x minus. Let's go ahead and distribute this thing. That's going to give us negative 3 plus 3x. So this is going to give us x power 5. Let's combine the like terms on the right hand side. That's going to give us 5x minus 3. And this is going to be our crucial component in figuring out the value of this rational expression. And here's our final step. We already figured out our x power 5 equals to 5x minus 3 in our previous steps. And now let's focus on this uh, rational expression. And here I have copied it down and let's focus on this x power 5. I am going to replace this x power 5 by this uh, 5x minus 3. So our this fraction is simply is going to become 5x minus 3 and then plus I'm going to write down this 8 
and then divided by x plus one and now let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the top so that's going to give us 5x plus 5 divided by x plus 1 and here we can see that 5 is in common so let's go ahead and factor out 5 so we are going to have x plus 1 inside the parentheses divided by x plus 1 one and here we can see that this x plus one and x plus one is gone so we simply ended up equal to five so thus the value of our rational expression x power five plus eight divided by x plus one turns out to be five thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye